Welcome to Electra Online, and here's the last type of our 3D connections. It's called the hinge and bearing support, but it's slightly different from the one we had before. And as another example of this is what we call the door hinge. Notice what we did here on this particular bearing support. We actually attached to the shaft a disc that is welded onto the shaft that prevents the shaft from moving in this direction through the bearing support. Just like with a door hinge, notice that the two supports of the top part of the hinge here prevents the bottom hinge to move back and forth like this so it's locked into place and so we have what we call an additional force created in the x direction that we did not have in the previous video when we did not have constraint in that direction so we have a constraint in the vertical direction because the support holds it in the vertical direction we have a support in the z direction and now we also have support in the x direction so we create a triad of forces on a hinge and bearing support like this so we have a force in the x direction because it cannot move in the x direction we have a force on the z direction because it's being constrained in the z direction and we have a force in the y direction because it's also constrained in the y direction what about the moments well, you can see that this cannot be moved in this direction like that. So we have a moment in the y direction. Also, it cannot be moved in this direction. So we have a moment in the z direction. Same over here. We cannot move it like this and we cannot move it like that. But it can rotate and so there's no moment in the x direction. So both here and here, we have the ability for the bottom here to rotate like this, for the shaft to rot rotate like that. So there's no moment created in the x direction. So in the y direction, we do have a moment like that. So that's a moment in the y direction. And in the z direction, we do have a moment like this. In the z direction, just like we had in the previous video. The only difference between this and what we saw before is that we now have a constraint in the x direction adding an additional unknown force in that direction. And that's how we look at 3D supports.